Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. In this video, I will show you guys how you can create some moving particles in Adobe After Effects. Um, this is a nice and fun trick you can use to spice up your animation a little bit. It's very easy to do, but I'll, I'll show it step by step. I hope it's useful. And I get a lot of comments of people saying, man, you're doing it too fast or you're doing it too slow. And it's always hard to find a sweet spot. So if it's going too fast for you, I'd say put it on pause, try it out. And if it really doesn't work out, just drop a comment below and I'll, I'll see if I can help out. So first off, I'm starting in Adobe Illustrator. We're gonna design a few particles and let's start with a simple circle. You just need the outline. So let's change the stroke to about eight, I guess. Um, we can also make a little cross. So I'm using the pen tool. Now hold shift to make a line that's 45 degrees. And now select it. Hold Alt, drag it out, and now go to Object, Transform, and mirror it, like so. Now select both of these lines and just align them to the selection so you get a little cross. And you can also copy this. So again, I'm holding Alt and Shift and just drag it out. And now I'm just going to rotate it also holding shift so it rotates in 45 degrees and then we get a nice cross like this so now we already have three particles and that's pretty much all we need but instead of strokes i want to expand this so just select the tree and again hold alt and drag it out and that way you can copy them and now head over to object and click on expand press ok now you see we have this uh, part in the middle that's overlapping uh, we don't want that so what you want to do is open up your pathfinder window and now just click this button voila now it's all merged and do that for this as well boom so now we have designed three particles which we can import in Adobe After Effects. So let's just start by copying the circle. So select it, hit Command C to copy it. Now go to After Effects. And as you can see, I've already made a composition uh, with a text layer in it. Um, now create a new solid and select a white color. By the way, I'm using the 1080p uh, format. I use this for my After Effects composition, but I also use this size uh, in Illustrator. All right, press OK, and now hit Command V. We'll move it over to a nice spot. Something like this. Okay, so before I'm gonna copy the cross and the other particle, I will quickly show you how you can uh, make this float around and it's actually really, really easy. So um, go to transform, go to position, and now hold alt and click the stopwatch. And as you can see, now you can type in an expression. And all you need to do is type in wiggle and then you can go for let's say one five and then it looks like this see it's really subtle how it moves but um five is the amount of pixels that it will shift from the uh, center and one is the speed so if i set this to a hundred it would move much faster see that looks kind of crazy and if I would change this to uh, 500 it will move all over the place see that's just crazy 
So pick anything you like. I think maybe 10 would be fine. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's get back to Illustrator and now select a different particle. So again, Command C to copy it. Go to After Effects, create a new solid. Press OK. Hit Command V. And it's starting to look interesting. Just play around with these settings till you like your composition. I don't know, something like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course you can rename your layers if you want to duplicate them. So select these three and simply hit command D and they will be duplicated and now you can just move them to the other side. Alright, of course you can switch up the composition a little bit, maybe something like this. And voila, there you go. So that's pretty much it. It's a really easy way to spice up your animation a little bit. I really hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.